loose and down. Whoa, I just whacked my hair. My hair. <laughs> uh, it's, sorry, it's wet. I wanted to do a video because I have blue eyes, and I, I don't know, I might have done one a long time ago, but kind of a makeup for, or an eyeshadow for blue eyes to make people with blue eyes really, really like pop stand out colors that make your eyes just look like really really whoa baby i'm doing it because i have blue eyes so i know exactly what works basically you want to stick with golds reds burgundies coppers oranges any of those kind of warmer think of just like the whole kind of sun spectrum so yellow to red you know burgundy just those really kind of warm colors make blue eyes really, really pop. Even if you go onto the kind of like the warm browns, golden browns, coppery browns, anything with a kind of warmish tint to it will make your eyes really, your blue eyes really, really stand out. Also, when you line your inner waterline um, with a black liner, it makes your eyes really stand out as well because it's like, whoa, it's such a dramatic kind of like, I don't know, I can't think of the word, but it makes them stand out more. This is, I think it's kind of summerish. It's a summerish, I don't know. I think it's kind of summerish. I've got a nice peach lip and then kind of a warm coppery, coppery peachish eyeshadow and then just a soft kind of peachy cheek. I hope that you guys like the look. If you do do it, again, post a picture on my Facebook. I love to see my looks on you guys because then I know, yay, someone's using it, cool beans. So thank you for watching. I will have pictures as well as a list of all of the products used on my blog, which the, the link is always in the down bar. So if you're wondering, oh my gosh, what did she say? What product was that? It will be there, so don't worry. It's that, And I will have my outfit of the day as well on that um, blog post. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys all have an amazing day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so I'm just going to apply my foundation like I always do, which is my Estee Lauder Double Wear. The color that I wear is sand, and I'm just gonna apply that with my Sigma F80 stippling brush. So I'm just buffing that on in circular motions, just a nice kind of thin layer, and I did already moisturize. Okay, next I'm just gonna take my Maybelline Instant Age uh, Rewind Concealer, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of that underneath my eyes kind of in a v-shape and then just blend that out with my Sigma P86 I just waxed my eyebrows because I did a tutorial for you guys so um, oh my god my hair is horrible I'm going to use my MAC Paint in Bare Canvas for my eye primer today because my eyes are still a little bit red and the Too Faced has no kind of uh, coverage as far as covering redness or anything. So that's why I'm using this one. So I'm just getting a little bit in my fingers and then I'm just going to pat that all over the entire lid all the way up to my brow bone so I can cover that little bit of redness. And I actually have found when you first get MAC or uh, MAC paint, it doesn't work as well as like for creasing. When you first use it, you've got to open it and let it sit in your drawer for like, I don't know, a couple months. And then it works amazingly. At first it's a little bit oily, which is really weird, but hey, whatever. I'm going to take my NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer in Sunny and my Sigma F40. And I'm basically just going to contour everywhere, so temples, and then I already did my cheekbones. Oh, there's a random dog running around. I wonder if he's lost. He's got a collar on. Poor little feller. Underneath the lip, and then kind of down the sides of my nose. For blush, what shall I use today? Oopsie. Um, I want to do something a little bit on the warmer side, but glowy. You know, I think I'll use my new... No. What do I want to use? I think I'm going to use my Leo Ellie. No, you know what? I'm going to use my Cores. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Make a decision already, weirdo. 
Uh, this is the Cora's Zayamaze blush. The color is peach, 18 peach. It's just kind of like a pretty coral color. Just gonna tap that and then tap it off on the back of my hand. And then just apply it to the backs of my cheeks. As my highlight, I'm going to use my new Pixi um, All Over Magic. This is number three, Brightening Radiance. And I'm going to use my Sigma F86. I'm just tapping into the kind of gold inside. And I'm just basically going to put that all kind of just underneath my eye on the tops of my cheekbones on the side. And then I do like to ring it in a little bit kind of onto the apples of my cheeks. Upper lip, down the nose, and then whatever's left, I just kind of bring up into the center of my forehead. Now I'm gonna put my eyebrows on. So I'm basically just gonna be using three colors. The first color I'm gonna take is my Lorac Negligee, which you guys know I'm obsessed with. I'm taking my Sigma E55, and I'm just gonna put that right on my brow bone as my highlight. I'm gonna kind of pull it out a little bit Oh my god, now that I have freshly waxed eyebrows, this looks so much better. Oh yeah, I'm going to take it in my inner corner. Oh, sick, I had an eye booger, that's disgusting. The color I'm going to use is this, okay, I think I said this wrong, everyone corrected me. Napoleon Perdis, Napoleon Perdis, I don't know. It's number 36, it's the Loose Dust, and this is a beautiful kind of champagne-y, almost got a slight pinkish color to it though. It's really beautiful. I'm going to take that on my finger. I'm not going to use brush or anything with this. And I'm basically just going to place that right kind of on the lower part of the outer lid and then on the whole kind of inner, inner third of my eye. And sometimes I find with these pigments it is easier just to play with your finger. And then you can always blend out later with the brush. But to actually get them on, it's like, pff, just stick your finger in there. It's easier for me, at least. Then you don't have to worry about fallout. You don't have to worry about, oh, it's going to, you know, be a mess. And um, I think it's easier. Then I'm going to take this beautiful copper color. This is number 16 from Napoleon Perdis. I hope I'm saying it right. You guys are always so good about correcting me because I suck at pronouncing things. Beautiful copper. Whoa, baby. And I'm just tapping it in the lid for this because it's quite a, you know, whoa shade. And I'm basically just going to put that on the outer third with my finger just to kind of get it on there. And you don't have to be perfect. As you can see, it's a little bit messy. And then I'm gonna get my fluffy brush. This is just my E35 from Sigma. I'm just gonna tap into the lid, whatever's left in there, and then I'm going to start blending out. So, obviously when you apply it with your finger, it's a lot more vibrant than if you apply it with a brush. So wherever you want it to kind of pop a little bit more, you can always go back and add with your finger and just kind of tap it on there. If you want it to be a little bit more like, woo baby, you know. So I'm basically just going to blend this out into that brow bone color so that it's nice and soft, it just gradually goes up and then goes into that kind of highlight. So, just a very nice soft kind of coppery, whoa, it's like sunset or something. So what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit more on my finger and then just kind of pop it right into that very outer corner just so it's a little bit more vibrant for where we blend it out. You can take a little bit underneath if you want to, I wouldn't do too much with it, but just get a little smoky brush and then just kind of just get a little bit of whatever's left in that cap and just kind of smoke it underneath a little bit. This, I always say smoky brush, I don't know why. A pencil brush, E30 from Sigma, just to bring a little bit of that color down. To make them really, really stand out, the next thing I'm gonna do is take my Avon Super Shock and this is just a gel liner in black needs to be sharpened actually. And I'm basically, I hate touching underneath there. I'm gonna line my waterline and also tight line. 
that really makes the eyes just kind of pop especially with these colors see how it just is like really makes them stand out now Oh, I hate doing that. And this is my favorite liner for the waterline, if you're wondering, it's amazing. If you want to, you can always line the top. So I'm just gonna take my Physician's Formula, wherever the heck it is. I'm gonna just take the one for blue eyes, and I'm just gonna take the black gel liner, and I'm going to take my little Sigma, this is the EO5, it looks like that. I'm just basically gonna dip it into my gel liner so right in there. so that it's in the outer corner just to give me a little bit of a shape. And then the same on the other side. Okay, so the liner's done. So now I'm just gonna put my mascara on, which is my Maybelline XXL Pro Extensions. I do two coats of the white and then two coats of the black. And I like to wait like, I don't know, a couple seconds in between just to let them dry so that they get, that way they just get extra like, whoa, lashy, lashy. Okay, so my mascara is on. So you can see, once you have your mascara, your liner, everything, it just makes your eyes look really, really like, whoa, blue and stand out. Especially like in pictures, they'll look like really, um, it's hard because this lighting is kind of dull today, but um, it does make your eyes look bluer. For my lips, I'm just gonna take the Tangerine Pro NYX. I'm gonna take my Sheen Supreme Got A Dash which is a beautiful peach. And then I'm just gonna top that off my Revlon lip gloss in peach petal, which is a really pretty nude. Now obviously you could do a, a more nude, like softer lip if you wanted, but these colors kind of go together, so that's what I like. So there is my look, my finished look. I hope that you guys like it. It just really makes those blue eyes pop. It's really beautiful also for the summer too. It's really kind of some sunset-y like, I don't know, warm kind of, I don't know, summery colors, I think, anyway. So, thank you for watching. Uh, I will have pictures on my blog, and I will have a list of everything used as well. Bye!